Good evening, and how are we all doing tonight? Good, I hope, because we're in for something a little bit different. There is a picture on my Facebook, and it's this girl holding a purple rose, and she has a lot of purple eyeshadow on. You really can't see her lips, but Somebody dared me to try to do a makeup look that looked something similar to that, so I said only one word, bring it. Okay, so let's get to it, shall we? Boom! The first thing I'm going to do as to use as a base coat is line my all my lids cover my lids as a base with a shimmery white shadow because it seems like uh there was mostly purple in the crease and uh on the outside uh and a little bit of glittery glittery kind of white towards the uh the, what do you want to call it, the nose side of the lid. So, well, we're gonna try to do this here and then let's see if you want to go and take a look and compare. You can do that too. Now I've already done my uh, foundation, my normal foundation using the It's It Cosmetics that I normally use. I picked up some new stuff, so I'm going to go through that too, but I just did the normal stuff that I would with that. Okay, now this girl looks like she has natural brows, but right now I'm doing the uh, brow shaving trend just to kind of explore the makeup looks that I can do and, you know, maybe one of these days I will go back to, uh, you know, doing the, you know, having my own brows or, you know, covering up my brows sometimes and not covering them up others, but we'll just, we'll just see where life takes me. That's all we can do, right? Okay, there's the primer set down now. Let's, uh, Get a little eyeshadow on there to start the uh, blending process. The first eyeshadow I'm going to grab is the NYX Primal Colors Hot Fuchsia. Just as kind of somewhat of a transitional color. And I just have all my brushes just stuffed in here, so it's like good luck finding something when you need it, huh? Because you're not going to have an easy time of it. <laughs> okay, so we'll just use this one here. This should be good enough. I mean, it's probably not going to be exact. I'm not even, I don't even have the picture to look at to, to try to do it. I'm just kind of, you know, winging it. There we go. Getting that on doing. I'm trying to just do this kind of quick. Not my kind of quick, but normal people kind of quick because 
if, <laughs> if you saw my uh, goth makeup tutorial where I painted myself head to toe white, uh, I had to split it up into about five videos that got that extent. But, you know, that, that was kind of an extreme look. <laughs> Maybe I will do that again someday, you know, if I uh, get some different products, but, you know, we'll take it one day at a time. And I kind of like this color as I put on a little bit of a highlight and uh some contour oh i got a little too much there but i'm gonna start working this on as a blush too and you know any place you put a highlight you add a little flake of blush too Woo okay so we did that one there I don't think that she used any black liner in this, but I am going to put just a little tiny smudge on the top of my eyelids, just because I feel like doing it, actually. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of black there. And speaking of blush, I see the blush I was going to use. It's a little tiny sample of an old Lancome sample that I got. It's not as purple as I would like it to be. It's Rose Boys or something like that. Rose Boss. And I'm just going to rub in. Okay, now I'm gonna take this one. Let me take a look at the nocturnal palette too, because I believe there is a purple in that. I think I'm going to use that in the crease, but I'm still going to need a darker purple. Let's see what happens with this one when I smudge that black eyeliner with it. Oh, I'm going to fall out. Instead of putting the whole palette in my face, let's see if I can use a mirror because someday I'm going to need to have a makeup table set up because I am not used to doing my makeup with a hand mirror that has my lipstick all over it. Might as well start bringing some down into the lower lash line. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a really, really nice purple color. You can already see even that black eyeshadow there gave uh, a little thing on that purple. Let's see if we can kind of smudge that away. You know, it's far, far from done, so it's really not that crucial at this moment. Okay. So now, let's start working some of this purple in 
into the uh, sides and the crease. does have very, in this picture, the girl has very natural kind of low eyebrows. I mean, she has her eyes closed, so I usually draw a line on quite high, so uh, it's going to be an estimate. It's, it's not going to be able to be, uh, you know, a duplicate. all over the place but as I said that's okay for now because we're still a long way away from the finale okay and one thing that I do remember is that some of this and with that. She did, let me put some of this in there too. This is a real pearly white pink. I'm gonna put the, oh yeah, that actually might work. Oh, I hate when you get fall out. That's the worst. Okay, so the look is kind of coming together. Okay, this seems like a kind of shinier, purpley one. So, oh, yes, yes, this is definitely a sparkly kind of purple purple so let's go in there all over kind of with this Broadening uh, my makeup horizons, shall I say, because, you know, uh, I really want to try to use things that are good for my skin, but I'm finding out that there's a lot of makeup out there that's really good for your skin, especially it cosmetics that's based around skincare and I do use a lot of their products in fact all my foundation and I just got some I got a new product from them too that I'll be reviewing and uh, some other stuff too so you never know with me okay so we're sliding this purple on. Oh, I wish, I wish that I had a purple liquid liner right now. That would come in real, real handy. Why don't we go in with a little more white at this point. Keep that uh, white part in here. 
white because that was very kind of noticeable in the uh, photograph that there was, especially in this front part, that that part was really, really light and white. So, okay. Okay, so this one we want to go in again with this lighter, more glammy, glittery, purple stuff, but we are going to need some more darkness. Very, very soon. Fact. Let me dip into some of this dark one here, just a tiny bit on this brush here. You can't help but to make so many faces when you're doing makeup. You can't help it. And the main thing is that on this picture of this girl, it was just kind of on this side how it is. There was very, I probably got a dark and intensify that and around that and you know just like she had some white in here I'm just gonna bring this out a little bit more I mean, I'm sure whoever did that makeup job or whatever probably took more time than I am but I'm trying to make a video that doesn't uh, you know, take up three hours here. <sighs> oh, I got almost all my follow-up blown away. <sighs> okay, let's just go with the thin brush in. Get some of that darkness in there with this one and then we're gonna go in and do the eyeliner with this dark purple and then we're gonna do the lips and we will have sin the color purple look okay now let's now it seems like this, uh, now it's like higher and higher and higher. And okay, I'm just going to leave it like that for right now. Now let me go in and do the white one more time. Got to go back and forth and back and forth, remember everybody. Unless if you're doing something very basic, it's not just whoop, whoop, one swipe gone. You're going to have to go back and forth and back and forth. Okay, so we're going to bring that highlight in there. And then And I do have to draw on eyebrows too, which I might do off camera because it's kind of more strandy than just <laughs> taking a pencil and doing them really quick like I usually do. But um, I just feel like doing my lips right now because I haven't had anything on my lips in a bit. I have a couple purple-ish lip 
liner. So let's see which one the winner is. Let's see what plum looks like. I think we have a pretty good lip line there. And now let's pick out some lipsticks. Let's use the Urban Decay, this one and this one. I'm kind of going to mix them all together and just see what happens. So this is really dark, really dark, even darker than my lip liner. Hmm. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, and now let me see. This, this one is more of a stick too, so let me just So I took a dark one on the outside, put that one in the center, and then now, just for kicks, I'm going to cover it with uh, this Urban Decay one. Let's see what this is. Kind of just mixing more of the other ones together, actually. I'm liking the lips. If you saw my Facebook, uh, you saw that I just got some Restylane Silk in my lips, even though I kind of had, you know, at least normal size lips before, you know. Let me know if you see from the previous videos, if you see any difference. And I got a little Botox in my forehead, too, so let me know if you see any difference. Just out of curiosity. I consider my subscribers part of my extended family, so you're welcome to express your feelings to me. And okay, I think we'll do the eyeliner. Uh, do some brows and we should be done with this look so okay i am going to do the brows off line because i think it's just going to take too long well i hope it won't but um well you know what i'll try to sit here and do it and see what happens
Okay, maybe we'll play with those a little bit more in a second or two. So I'm gonna use this other one. I got the uh, Altus brand uh, Voluptuous Volume. So let's see if it gives you Voluptuous Volume. Because this is my first time trying it. Live trying, everybody. Let's see what else will go wrong. But before we get to the mascara, I'm going to try the eyeliner thing with just my setting spray. So let's see if that works or not. <laughs> All right. Where is my second spray? Okay, so let's see if I can get this in there. Okay, one pump of that. I know I have eyeliner brushes and they are very close to the top, so... You know what I really need is a really nice brush collection that has like, just folds out and, uh, you know, something to contain these things because I just washed all of them and half of them are still wet and it's probably not good. <laughs> But at least I'm only using them on myself at this point. I'd actually like to do makeup on other people, but I just haven't gotten to that point recently. I have done makeup on people before, but it was more like for uh, friends and family. Okay, so I mixed that in there. This is looking actually pretty good. So let's try this. I don't know if it's going to be a quick drying formula or what, since this is really going into unknown territories. Okay, there's one lid done, and I'm just going to, don't worry, I'll uh, fast forward or cut it out until the other lid, because this is going to be a bit to dry, I have a feeling. Okay. And now, as you see, the uh, liner is drying pretty good. I finished on the top side over there. I'm going to kind of wing it out a little, actually a lot of it, trying to without uh, getting everything else in there but as I said there were some parts where it was a very dark so I'm really not afraid to get up in that part. pretty much kind of drying out now. It'll be easier to work with. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. So, uh, this was just an experiment to, you know, from taking a quick look at a picture to see, uh, you know, kind of if I could do a rough image of it. And I didn't really study it that much. And, you know, half the face was blocked out. So, you know, really I was kind of on my own for some of it, but I, in line, to, in my water line on one side, I did put the white, so let me finish that. And if there's one thing I remember about this picture, is this girl was wearing a buttload of mascara. I mean, like, she probably used the tube out. Okay, so let's do that. Where's the other white liner? Oh, well, we'll just use this one. Okay. Okay, and now let's just finish with the butt load of mascara. Then we'll touch up my lips, and that is it, folks. All right, everybody, I put on some mascara. I put on some white eyeliner on both eyes. I hope so. I try to smooth it out and uh, put a little fresh coat of lipstick on. Uh, I guess this is the final look. I know it's not the exact match, but you know, as I said, I was just doing this on the fly. I didn't practice beforehand and do it a few times. I just grabbed my stuff and started filming. So. Uh, you know, if you want to go to my Facebook or if you want to do it here, take a look at that pic. You want to rate it 1 through 10. You know, I'd say maybe, you know, a 6 <laughs> I'd give myself. Uh, you know, as for, as for comparing it to that look. But uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, for any of my future videos, I'd love to hear it. And please uh, give me a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down there. I really appreciate it from the heart. And I love you all. And don't forget, if you have any comments, if you want to say hi or whatever, just put it down below. Now you get to that subscribing part and everything else we talked about. And I'll be seeing you soon. Arr. Mwah.